In this episode, we're going to explore the landmarks of the United States of America. The first stop is the Alamo. What is the Alamo? The Alamo is a mission in San Antonio, Texas. The Battle of the Alamo was a pivotal event in the Texas Revolution. While visiting the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas, you might hear the phrase, Remember the Alamo! Next stop, the Empire State Building. What exactly is the Empire State Building? The Empire State Building is in New York City, New York. It stood as the world's tallest building for nearly 40 years, from its completion in early 1931 until the topping out of the original World Trade Center's North Tower in late 1970. Not far from the Empire State Building, we can find the Freedom Tower. The Freedom Tower is in Manhattan, very close to New York City. The Freedom Tower also goes by the name of One World Trade Center. It is the main building of the rebuilt World Trade Center complex in Lower Manhattan, New York City. Ooh, we better get on our way. That's pretty awesome. Freedom Tower is the sixth tallest building in the world. My, my, we've traveled a long distance. Now we're in San Francisco, California. Wow. The Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge spanning the Golden Gate, a one mile wide strait connecting the San Francisco Bay and the Pacific Ocean. Ooh, this is scary. We're now at the Hoover Dam, originally known as the Boulder Dam from 1933 to 1947. It was renamed the Hoover Dam by a joint resolution of Congress, and it is a concrete arch gravity dam in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River on the border between the United States of Nevada and Arizona. The Jefferson Memorial is a presidential memorial in Washington, D.C., and it's dedicated to Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. He was one of the most important American founding fathers as the main drafter and writer of the Declaration of Independence. The Lincoln Memorial is an American national monument built to honor the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. It is located on the western end of the National Mall in Washington, D.C., across the Washington Monument. The Washington Monument is an obelisk, which is a shape. It's on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. It was built to honor George Washington. He was once the Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army, and he was the first President of the United States. Do you know what this place is? It's the White House. It's the home to the President of the United States. Its address, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. The legislative branch of the federal government makes its home in the United States Capitol. The Capitol is home to the House of Representatives and the Senate. Together, they form the Congress. Mount Rushmore is located in the Black Hills region of South Dakota. It was completed in 1941 under the direction of Gutson Borglum and his son Lincoln. The sculpture's roughly 60-foot high granite faces depict the United States presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. The Space Needle is an observation tower in Seattle, Washington, a landmark of the Pacific Northwest, and it's an icon of Seattle. <laughs> this is so awesome. We are at Missouri's tallest accessible building. This is the Gateway Arch. It was built as a monument to the westward expansion of the United States, and it was officially dedicated to the American people. The Statue of Liberty, enlightening the world, was a gift of friendship from the people of France to the United States. It is recognized as a universal symbol of freedom and democracy. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated on October 28, 1886. The Transamerica Tower, also known as the Transamerica Pyramid, is a 48-story postmodern building and it's the second tallest skyscraper in the San Francisco skyline. Oh, I'm ready to go home. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our many Pinterest boards. Check us out on YouTube. You'll love some of our new videos coming out all the time and head over to our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.